is teaching how it helps to live more fully, clearly. Right? So, for, for example, I can say, well, you know, I can say, well, I have an issue of fear, and then uh, uh, my fear is manifesting in my work, in my relationship, in my uh, many, many places in my life, and it really bothers me. Uh, I cannot sleep well, and so on. I can talk a lot about these things, and then I can say, well, with the practice, really help me. Help me what? I'm able to control my fear. I'm able to live with my fear. I'm able to free my fear. Is that all? Is that, is that all? No, it's not. That's not all. So then the sense of liberation, Buddhahood, enlightenment, um, how you say, Kusum Jogbi Sanji in your top show. Last, what is the last one line? Yeah, what does that mean? Kusum. So you ultimate goal is to realize these three bodies fully. So it's not this is that's a big goal. But dealing with my fear, it's not a big goal. I need to do that, but the big goal is the enlightenment. So do you trust the enlightenment? I'm not saying we have to, you know, <laughs> sign a contract here. <laughs> do you trust there is such thing called enlightenment? Do you think there is such thing called liberation? A root. Liberation from the root source. So the, all the, you know, all the outer situations are no longer are important. You know, I mean, that's what happened. When the, what does growth mean? Many times growth is that, for example, if you are afraid of somebody, you're, a person who has not grown so much, whoever they are afraid of is their issue. They don't address their fear. They, say, they don't think about their fear. I said, you, I want to fight with you. I want to kill you. I wanted to do this to you. So you are always focusing on somebody that you are afraid of. You are out there. You have no sense that has something to do with you. No sense. That, then if you are developing some point, you recognize it's interactive. It's, I say, interdependent. You realize, my fear has something to do probably a little bit with me. I will say a little bit. Well, of course, most of them are there. And then you begin to slowly understand, yes, true, it has something to do with me, it's something to do with me, it's something to do with me. You understand, you understand. And then at some point you realize, I think it's mostly it has to do with me. They're just helping me. At some point, you realize it really fully has to do with you. You stop having discussion with that person. Thank you. Thank you. We are done. Our process of work is done. Now it's my work to do with myself. You have nothing to talk with that person. If you remain to talk with that person, you're not growing. So the same way, even, even within yourself, you look at the fear. Why fear? There are stories. The root, even the story is very interesting, very personal. You got to listen to my story, right? It's special, of course, better than yours. So you, you make that important. At some point, if you look closely, 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 that even it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So ultimately, it comes to more like a deeper awakening. And that deeper awakening ultimately comes a full liberation. So that full liberation, it's, we don't, uh, I think most people don't able to look that far or see that as a purpose. So I, what I'm saying is that reminding here is uh, you don't have to see fully. I want you to be interested enough. You know, that, that's all. Or question it. And the Dzogchen teaching it says, those who question, they are very lucky. Because they are questioning. 
they are questioning because they are connected to it. 